Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution Nuzlocke. At this point, I have a roadmap. And the roadmap goes as follows. One, we will begin with this game until ending. Then, we will do Aerofell. Afterwards, it'll be Pokemon TCG. Then we return to Rebirth 3. Because we have too many Neptunia videos and not enough of everything else at the current moment. Let us begin. We are currently on deck 11, Rise of the Dragon Lords. Remember, this series ends when all 32 decks are gone. Once this is gone, that's it. It doesn't matter how far we went. And this deck here is more like a final hurrah as opposed to anything that's actually meaningful for a game. Look at this. This deck is pathetic. This will be the final chance, the last straw deck. Let us continue. The Master of Magicians. At this point, I'm convinced you've all seen... Oops. You've all seen the decks. Let's continue. We've had about 20 episodes. Let's make some more. First of all, we have to fight Arcana. And Arcana himself isn't very strong. Actually, you know what? Let's have a face cam. Should I do a face cam for this? You know what? Yeah, let's do a face cam. Why not? Hmm. Yeah, I know this is completely out of topic and completely out of nowhere because I've never done face cam for the series before, but let's do it because I feel like doing it. This video capture on. Bam, you can see me now. Now you can get my full range of emotions in the game. What do I do? This card is targeted for an attack. Target or engraver for summon it. If you do, no. This hand kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. You know what? Let's do this. Set one, and then we'll set this and pass. Because the thing about Arcana is that his deck actually sucks completely. So we should have a huge advantage over him. I knew it. Yep. I called it right somehow. Is it level 7 or higher dragon type? Okay, so what I'm going to do is have Felgren Dragon in the Grave with Lightning Vortex. For now, let's sacrifice this guy. To make Horus level 6. This game does not... I don't think this deck comes with level 8, so it's not like I can use it. And then we'll swing here. Fiendish Chain. That's fine. Well, it's not fine, but it's better than the current idea. Oh, only if it was sent there from the field, right? I can't even summon Felgrand yet. So it turns out that the Felgrand Dragon strategy is also dead. If that's the case, then I'll set this and then... Pass my turn. Because at this moment, I don't even know if the strategy that I plan on using is that good. This is probably my only real issue with this deck, and that would be... And that would be the fact that it requires unholy amounts of tributing. And when I say unholy, I really mean unholy. Never in Yu-Gi-Oh! do I think, outside of maybe an obscure Monarch build, a good deck has come out of all of this. All of this tribute summoning, all of this madness. I think that historically, having this many tributes was a bad thing. Okay, Jester Lord? I don't think Jester Lord was a DM card, but sure, let's go with it. Currently, we are bricking really badly, but I think it's par for the course. After all, we're playing the structure deck meta. Hmm, is that the best place to put me? Actually, you know what? I think I work, work better on the bottom right, not that. This. On the bottom right. There we go. This is probably the most, or at least one of the most, unorthodox way to make a Let's Play. And I'm okay with that. I really am. What the? That pause, I don't know. And I am my turn there. The opponents are going to be setting more. Okay. So I guess Felgrand Sweep is the, is the strategy, right? 
This is the meta strats, the pro strats. Embarrassingly, it might be- why did I do that? <sighs> okay. That's fine. Kaiser. And then we start swinging, because this will be what? 45? Yeah, this will be 45. Swing, please. And he's got 700 left. We're going to win. I hope we're going to win anyways. Otherwise, that would be really bad if we don't. Okay, he sets a card and passes his turn. We got Goryo. Goryu. Uh, summon? No. Yes. Yes. Treating this as two for Goryu. Goryu. What does this actually do? Hold on, I've never actually read this thing. You can tribute summon, but not set this card with one tribute. If summon this way during the end phase, send the graveyard. If this card attacks, the defense position. It's just a piercing. That's that's a terrible card. Why is this a thing? Okay, it's better than nothing, I guess. Let's go with it. All right, time for the next one. That would be the rematch against the Pharaoh. Deskbot base. Listen, Yu-Gi-Oh is my favorite card game, but I don't like Master Duel. I, I've I've made it a whole shtick. A person, this is a personal thing. If a game is live service, I'm going to avoid it. This is just an un. This is an immutable rule that I have. I I genuinely refuse to play live service because I think it's a scam. I don't even think it's a scam. It is a scam. And if you're telling me it's not a scam, you're lying to yourself. Set. Set. Pass. Okay. So this is the Arcana match, but this is the one where the Pharaoh Tem has an absurdly good board. Specifically, he has the some of the spell cards from the modern day Magician support. And that's kind of busted. Hmm. I guess ten headed behemoth, right? Or masked. You know what? Let's go with What is the current board state? Twelve. This thing doesn't do anything. Mm, yeah, let's go with masked. Because I think masked dragon is good enough. All right then, set one. I can't use anything else yet. Let's change to defense and set to defense. And then after this, we should be good. We should be golden. I could have wing beated right there and popped three back row. And why not? Let's dust the middle one. Okay, okay, pick. Mm. Would Dark Blaze Dragon even be a good pick? No, let's do Twin Head of Behemoth. Defense mode! Protect me! Oh, come on! Really? <sighs> this is probably the only real problem with this deck, and that would be just how absurdly bad it is. Honestly, there's no way they, they thought this deck was releasable to the public. I, I refuse to believe that. Okay. Burfamet, sure. And he gets Beaver Warrior. Because that's what I need. Yep. My opponent has Beaver Warrior start. This is gonna hurt. Um, let's Draining Shield here. Because Mass Dragon will summon something. Anything, hopefully. Yes. Summon Dark Blaze. That's my only real goal here. 
Okay. Dark Blaze is the only summon that's worth a damn. And while I would like to just... Wait a minute. Does that have to be face up? I don't know. I hope not. Because if it does, that's uh, kind of lame. I mean, if I just leave it face up, what happens? He has no monsters in the grave at all. So this strategy is dead with Shallow Grave. And my hand would be dead otherwise. Shallow Grave doesn't work. Wing Beat doesn't work. And Horus doesn't work. However, this is unaffected by spell effects. So let's say I decide to Dark Blaze here. And then swing at either of these two. Something would happen, but I don't want it to happen that way. What if I opt to swing at Behemoth? I'll, I get a body. Not a good body, but a body nonetheless. During end phase, Behemoth effect summons in 1000. You know what? It's better than nothing. Let's go. And then we pass turn. Let's give it over to the Pharaoh again. See what happens. Okay, he uses charity. Neat. Please tell me he sent something. And the answer is he sent red eyes. Oh my goodness, why is it that it always comes down to bringing back overpowered ass cards? I mean, it would summon in defense mode. But is that really what I want to do? Why not? Dark blaze in defense. Okay, now to learn if this will make or break. Can I use wing beat on a set? I don't know. Let's let's learn. Right, he can just do that. Yeah. Hmm. I'll swing first at the red eyes. I mean, it was special summon from the graveyard. Its attack and defense become double, but it's face down already, so it probably doesn't get the effect. I'll set you. And I'll set this. Now, if this doesn't work, I don't know what will. Oh, damn it. Oh, unfair! <laughs> this game is unfair. And now he has, what, Black Magician? Yeah. There's that thing. Hmm, what do I do? What do I do? I can probably out it. So it doesn't gain the boost anyways. Then what was the point? Add it to my hand? I'm not using that. I need a new hand. This hand kind of sucks. No, not even kind of sucks. It did suck. Vortex. Pitching walk. Setting two. And then swinging for seven. What do I have here, by the way? Yon is good. And that's about all I have. And then here I pass turn. Okay. Henshi no Holokoshi. I'll allow him to use it. Because that's not the card I want to stop. That's what I want to stop. Is it though? I mean, he just summons Black Magician. And Joan can take care of that. Yon is what, 28? We're good. We're fine. There is no problem here. Okay. 
That is not a problem either. No effect. Sure thing. Because guess what, Pharaoh? You're not gonna do anything to me. Not like that. Yon. Yon should be enough. I know it's Joan, or Joanne, but I don't want to talk say that. Set one. These aren't mirror. He would have used it already. Swing and gain some life back. But he does have expanded. However, I have magic jammer. And that's a counter trap, so no chaining for you. That would have been really bad. But now it's not. Now we're good. Well, not really. We're still minus four. Even if we have the life point lead, it's not a good to be in minus four, and I no longer know what that is. Mm, no. Let's rebuild our position, because I can't swing back in this position at all. Big Goose Shield Gardener. Okay, that's not nice. Sure. Hurricane could work. But not right now. I think I need to draw something better. But what do I draw? Of course he has another one. Black Magician summoned again. For the umpteenth time. Cool animation, dude, but I would have just removed all of them. Sure. Still no ace that I can use. Let's move on. This is why I didn't want to swing. I don't know what these set cards are. Huh? Okay. Yeah, no, I actually believe that the... What? It's 29. I didn't see it. Anyways, I actually believe that the idea behind this is smarter. Herald, discard one, then target one seven. Fell ground. Oh, I can do this. Where is it? Here it is. Herald takes him out here. Then we true nade. Activate Herald of Creation, pitching Mausoleum. Taking back Felgren Dragon. Then we Soul Exchange, and while we can't win here, at least we have a backup. By sacrificing both of these guys. And this makes it so that Felgrand Dragon can hit the field safely at 28. Still, no battle phase is cumbersome, but that's why we set Sakuretsu and move to next turn. At this point, we're not going to win the card advantage war. What we're going to win is damage output. I don't know what these sets are, though, and that is a problem. Something tells me, however, that they're not... It's not Mirror Force. And even if it is, I don't care. Okay, Alpha. We know it's not Mirror Force anymore. Good. So what is it, then? I don't know. Okay. Let's see if this kills. Karibo. I respect it. Move on. I do like how the structure decks will make these matches a lot more tense than they have any right being. If you remember back to the to the original Let's Play, back when I had a really bad microphone. And even then, I don't think this microphone is that much better by comparison, but... Well, okay, by comparison it is, but I don't think this microphone is professional at all. The game 
the enemies had no shot at beating me. Here, there's always a risk. 